morning friends and welcome to my 5am productive morning routine as a mum of two. Today I am taking you along the ride of what I do most mornings to stay and keep productive while running my household and keeping my kids alive. First of all, of course, I wake up and these days I no longer use an alarm to wake up. I've just trained my body naturally to wake up anywhere between 4.30 and 5 a.m. every single morning. It doesn't matter if I just went to sleep at 2 a.m. My body always wakes up itself before 5. One thing that I love to do first thing in the morning is open my blinds. I love to see the sun. If you don't know, I'm a huge sun lover. I love watching the sun rise first thing in the morning. It's also another reason why I wake up early is because I get to watch the sun rise. But lately, I've been actually working out in the mornings. So I am just getting myself ready, putting on a little bit of gym attire on, getting my shoes on. And lucky for us, we actually have somewhat of a good home gym. So I'm just heading off to the shed to go onto the treadmill while my kids are still sleeping. <laughs> And of course, to get my body moving and to get its start being active throughout the rest of the day, I have to chug some water down. Plus, I have to take some water to the shed with me because I'm going for a little run and my body's going to get tired and it needs the extra intake of water that my body has just got rid of by all the movement that it's going to go through. Like I said before, I like opening my blinds. So when I go over to the living room and kitchen, I open all the blinds because we've got huge, amazing windows in this side of the house. So I open all the blinds so I can see the sun seeping into the house as soon as I wake up. This is also a great tip for anyone who isn't a morning person. Open up your blinds and just let the, the light come in. It will wake you up instantly. So a little tip there if you're not a morning person and you want to be, open up your blinds. So like I said before, I am heading off to the, the shed or the gym, whatever you want to call it. And I am just hopping on to the treadmill. At the moment, I am running every single morning. I'm running for about 20 minutes and I have the baby monitor right next to me so if I hear any noise from any of the kids I get alerted so I can go run in there and go grab them. After my workout is done, it is a time where I like to spend more time on myself. And this is also another reason why I like to get up earlier in the morning because I actually get a lot of time to myself without my kids bothering me. So after a workout, I obviously need to get rid of the sweat of my body. So I'm just going into the shower and this is the best time for me to shower because I actually don't have a baby attached to my hip who also wants to join me in the shower. So. If I want to shower alone, I most likely will have to do it first thing in the morning while he is sleeping. Shower time for me is kind of also like a self-care kind of time for me also. I enjoy just standing under the water and just taking each and every moment in because I tend to not really have many showers alone by myself these days. Either I've got one kid or I've got both the kids with me. So I like to take in these moments where I do get to shower alone without any kids bothering me. So today's shower was not a hair washing shower because I did wash my hair only a couple of days ago, but I did wash my face just so I could get rid of all the sweat that was on it. And then we're just going to my bedroom and we are just going to do a cool transition and voila, I am dressed just like that. Wouldn't it be nice if it was that easy just to get changed in the morning? But another thing I love to do each and every morning and I swear this just helps with my productivity productivity throughout the day and just makes me feel good is to make my bed. I actually did learn recently that making your bed can help improve your mood and your stress levels. So if you're someone who doesn't make their bed, start making it. 
Okay, so here it is. It's makeup time. So I'm just going to put a little bit of makeup on today. Most days I don't wear that much, but then I feel like it is a lot. But this is just generally what I do days where I like to put a little bit of makeup on. So I put a little bit of foundation on and a little bit of concealer. They both from CoverGirl. And also I found out that my powder that I use is also CoverGirl. So CoverGirl, I need you to sponsor me because apparently I really love your products. I put a little bit of bronzer on and this is from W7. If you've never tried their products, they're actually really good. You can find them from Chemist Warehouse. And then my trusty old e.l.f. highlighter. I swear I get so many comments on what highlighter I'm using when I use this one. So if you like it, it is from e.l.f. It is amazing and it's three dollars the last few bits I'm doing for my makeup today is just doing my eyebrows I actually ran out of my pencil so I actually had to use the gel like set thing for your eyebrows this time and actually worked really well surprisingly and then I just put a little bit of mascara on after curling my eyelashes and that is done for me for makeup of course, we have to brush the pearly whites, keep them pearly white and healthy. Do not need teeth to fall out anytime soon. After getting myself ready, I think it was about six o'clock now, and Frederick decided he wanted to wake up. My kids wake up naturally by themselves. I don't go in there and wake them. I wait for them to wake up. But naturally my kids get up anywhere between 6 and 6.30, sometimes even earlier depending on what time they've gone to bed that night. So to help me stay productive in the morning times and get things done, I have to keep little Frederick entertained. And I'm someone who is trying to gravitate towards the television and the iPad and Today we did a little bit of painting and a little bit of drawing first thing in the morning. Now Frederick also has a chore to feed the animals and that is why I was leaving the animal food on the bench. Frederick has the chore to feed them every single morning so I was just helping him opening up the containers so he can go ahead and do his chore. And while Frederick was doing that I decided it was time to prepare breakfast so that when Theodore woke up it was perfectly timed and he could eat straight away. So most mornings we either have toast or we have porridge. Now because we were all having porridge this morning I decided I would just make it on the stove top it's actually so much easier to make it on the stove top than to microwave porridge and I can just make one big batch and then separate it in its own bowls later on. So in our porridge I kind of keep it very basic and simple so I was just doing oats with a little bit of water and then I'm mixing in this uh, BB2 powder, it's a peanut butter powder. And it's just better than adding in the actual, you know, peanut butter paste in there. Once all the bowls have been served up, Theodore's is going into the fridge because he was not awake and me and Frederick were having ours. I was just putting a little bit of banana and honey on ours and that was our breakfast. But now that Frederick wants to watch a little bit of TV, I thought it would be time for me to sit down and do a little bit of work in the morning. I try my hardest to get my work done first thing in the morning so that I'm not sitting down at the computer while my boys need some entertainment and so they're not stuck watching the TV all morning. 
So today actually wasn't a huge work day for me. I just wanted to check my emails and make sure that I was up to date with any brands that I am speaking with right now. And I also just wanted to check over new comments that maybe have been posted on my video and even on my Instagram. As you can see right now, I am actually making an Instagram story. I tend to do that first thing in the morning too. So I'm just posting a little story for you guys. And then I go off and do my work and type and type and type away. I also was just going on to a clothing website because I am looking at some stuff for a new haul coming soon. So get excited about that. There is a haul coming soon. So I was just picking out the pieces that I wanted to pick out for the brand so I could contact them back so they can send them out to me ASAP. Just as I was filming this shot, Frederick actually just found out that one of our little fish passed away yesterday. So he was a little bit upset. So I decided to stop working and go tend to him. It was time for him to get ready in the morning anyway, but he is a little bit upset that he just found out that one of our fish died. So I was trying to comfort him as much as I possibly could while he was grieving for his little fish. Ish. Another thing that we do in our household is I allow my kids to pick the clothes that they want to wear. So especially Frederick, not so much Theodore because he is only one, but I do still tend to put out clothes for Theodore and see if he wants to pick out anything for himself. But Frederick on the other hand likes to pick out his clothes. So today was a day where he picked out this outfit. And of course, we started hearing Theodore, so we had to go wake him up and go give him morning cuddles and get him ready for the day. I've actually recently just discovered that Frederick has been getting Theodore out of his cot in the morning if I don't go there fast enough. So I was there this morning to stop that from happening. But of course, as soon as Theodore wakes up, I do like to get him into a fresh nappy and into fresh clothes. Sometimes I don't do it because he's going to have breakfast straight away and most of the time he will actually get food all over his clothes. But today I just wanted to put him in cute clothes plus he was a little bit damp from his night nappy. So while Theodore was having his breakfast, which might I just add, it is the cutest thing to watch is my baby eating his food. While Theodore was having breakfast, I decided it was time to do a little bit more things around the house. So I went ahead and started my laundry. So I'm not a huge fan of laundry, guys. If there was a chance that I could stop doing it, I would stop doing it. I hate laundry with a passion, but it's the thing that if I don't do it, it just gets more and more crazy and I just hate it even more. So these days I try to do at least one load of laundry and as you can see, my laundry was stacking up a little bit. So I made sure I did more laundry today than I normally like to do it. If you're still watching my video, I would love to see you comment in the comments below a little fish emoji so I know that you got this far into my video. So 
basically laundry is the last thing I am doing in my productive morning routine. After I do laundry, I am just going to enjoy the rest of the day with my boys. Go outside, jump on the trampoline together, even go for a walk with them down at the beach. But basically, this is a typical productive morning for me with my two kids. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what we got up to in this morning and maybe gave you an idea of how you can be a little bit more productive in your own mornings or maybe even gave you the push to wake up a little bit earlier and start your mornings a little bit earlier than you normally do. But anyway, I'm going to get going. So I hope you all enjoyed this morning routine. If you want to see more videos kind of like this, let me know. I am happy to create more videos like this for you all. But anyway, I will get going and I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in a couple of days. Bye.